recording. <laughs> Everybody, welcome to the Getting Naked with TJ podcast. Been a while. I missed you. Not really, but I did miss getting the information out. I've been superiorly busy. Um, clientele in the office as well as Zoom rehab sessions, those are taking off because people are starting to realize that you heal through movement, not through passive treatments. Passive treatments like chiropractic, acupuncture, massage, Graston, trigger point therapy, uh, Theragun, ultrasound, lasers, PRP, stem cells, you name it, all the other fancy stuff that has you just laying there and somebody doing something to you rather than you integrating everything to create a different environment than what caused the injury in the first place, which is the body's inability to absorb force. So, for all of you who get offended that I eat or drink while I'm speaking, you can leave. Okay, so, just got out of my hot box, infrared sauna. What? That's passive. You promote nature. <laughs> Let's see where this fits in my life. Am I saying that the infrared sauna replaces where all light comes from, all wavelengths of light? Any light therapy that they're going to create or sell you is coming from where? Say it together, the sun. The sun has not caused one cancer ever. Cancer isn't even a thing that exists. It's just a healing response that they've called a fancy name, just like MS, ALS, type 1 diabetes, any other thing you want to call, vitiligo, HSV, HPV, you name it. It's just literally healing responses. So am I saying that I will not get my morning sun because I'm going to get an infrared sauna? Absolutely not. Just like I'm not saying do your supplements, oils, and herbs, do your essential oils to replace a homemade meal from a local farm or a farm that you trust. Am I saying that you can oh, wear these shoes that when you walk around every now and then it activates glutes or some shit. Uh, am I saying that you're replacing movement with these things? Am I saying that you can replace a shitty night's sleep with some sort of oil or herb or, or nootropic and all this other biohacking bullshit? No. Are there tools out there that you can utilize? Of course there are. A three pound dumbbell doesn't heal a rotator cuff or a torn entotalofibular ligament. But you utilize it as a tool for the artist to then create a scenario or a masterpiece that has healing in mind. But you never say the three pound dumbbell healed me. Garlic doesn't cure cancer if you think cancer exists. Apricot seeds don't cure cancer because they've been banned and this and that. Antibiotics don't heal an infection. Chemo doesn't heal, heal cancer. So whatever drug they're pushing for the made-up disease MS or any other autoimmune made-up disease. And when I say made up, they're literally taking a person exp expressing healing because of the environment they've chosen to put themselves in on all facets. They measure something in the blood, which is just a healing response. Then they show that it's unique to these things, these parameters. And then they call it a name. And then they show that this certain population has this thing that you need, now need drugs and need to be integrated into the system. You can't leave autoimmune. Your body's fighting you. What a travesty that your body you have to be afraid of. All this shit is made up. Disease and sickness is absolutely all made up. It's literally like they took the cut on a person's arm and sat there and like, we studied this. What did you study? I bet when there was damage to the skin, I bet it hurt. Oh my God, the research shows it hurt. Yeah, and I bet this clear liquid came out first. Yeah, we studied. It shows that when this particular damage happens to this particular area, there's a clear liquid after pain. Oh my God, they know. And then this red stuff starts pouring out, right? Yeah, yeah, and I bet it hurt more. And I bet you tried to like stop it up and it stopped for a while. We've studied that as well. This is the next phase of this healing, of this disease that your body is, is trying to fight against you and creating. And then I bet this ugly thing formed over it like this really itchy, gross looking, yeah, that's the next stage of this disease. And then I bet that thing flaked off because you either scratched at it or it fell off in the shower or whatever, and there was this light pink lesion underneath. Yep, that's the next stage. Holy shit, they know exactly what this disease is. They're naming every single stage of the disease. My God, how do they know stage four, stage six? Oh my God. And then I bet all of a sudden this lesions started to change color, started to get a little more resilient. And then there's like this faint remembrance that that's still there. Yeah. That's the last part of the disease. Wait, what you guys just took 
was damage, the body's healing response, you observed it like everybody on the fucking planet can observe what the body does because that's what we were given is sensation in the body. And then you started labeling it, naming it, naming all these things backed by science. You call it science, which doesn't exist. Science has been totally hijacked. Just observe, change, observe, change. Oh, okay. You mean living is science? Okay. Thank you very much. But no, we funded it, we've hijacked it. Now there's stages of all this made up shit. For all you people triggered because you have MS or lost somebody because of MS, you didn't lose anybody of MS and you didn't, you're not fighting MS. So there's no flare ups because of MS. Your body is trying to get your attention because of the environment that you put it in, starting with your parents and their parents and their parents to put you in a position to try to heal itself. It's getting your attention. You can choose to go that route where they're going to freak you out, first of all, with these tests and then this name. And if you get scared enough, you're willing to do anything. And that's when you're at the mercy of them. And then they hang it over your head like, well, you are going to die. You're going to hang out this for five years. This is what we've studied. This is what the cut does. We know it's going to lead to this. All they are parroting and repeating back to you is the stage of healing. And the more severe it seems, the more it's trying to keep you here. And if it didn't go through any of these processes you would have passed on and left the human species would have never have made it this far all the body knows is how to heal itself that's it so tools that we can use like food like the antibiotics somebody said like chemo like some other treatment like gearson therapy like coffee enemas like herb supplements oils like anything else you have they are tools utilized by the artist garlic doesn't cure cancer Three pound dumbbells don't heal injury. Chiropractors don't do fucking anything. Acupuncturists, oncologists, uh, supplements, antibiotics, you name the thing. Type one, uh, insulin, it doesn't do anything to you to cure you. You need to take it in and assimilate it and make it yours. It's the individual, even in those bullshit arenas. Regardless whether you choose allopath or the greenwashing bullshit naturopath side, because they both need to crumble. I hope I'm clear with that. Your body has to take in that input and make it an expression. So your body has to go in and take it. You don't just take antibiotics and get antibiotics. Your body has to digest them, first of all, and then take them and utilize them and make sure that they go where they're supposed to go without damage, which isn't. It's like fucking letting off an atomic bomb, and then you're going to eat fermented foods and try to fill up an Olympic-sized pool with a little fucking straw of water in your lifetime. Good luck with that. And let's see how, <laughs> let's think of how much those antibiotics saved your life where people have been utilizing herbs and oils forever to handle the healing expression called infections. Wait, but you just attack supplements, oils and herbs. And now you're saying that they're good. There's a place for a lot of things where we put them. There's no place for, we don't need <laughs> a majority of what's out there right now. So again, again, Infrared sauna, sure, I use it as a tool. I was also sitting out sunning my balls for an hour this morning while I'm sipping my morning drink that's not fucking plain water because plain water doesn't hydrate. Trigger. So yeah, infrared sauna, great. Standing desk, sure. Does it replace a day of fucking movement all day? No, but we've got it to where we're like, I can still feed my family by doing this job that I choose at the expense of my life. Well, we're gonna go ahead and do it, but I got a standing desk. Somehow that's better. It's a possible change. But again, if you're doing something to replace an essential, you are going to catch up with nature. She's going to catch up with you and she's going to be like, I'm going to fucking get your attention. I'm going to grab you by the mock turtleneck or the dickie that you're wearing to your holiday celebration. I'm going to shake you and put you up against the wall and I'm going to choke you out until I get your attention. You can either listen, change your ways, or you're at the mercy of her, but she's beautiful. She's, she's constant. She's healing. It's just, it's just this one beam of light. So again, am I eating fruit to hydrate? No, I'm eating fruit because it nourishes my entire body. What my body does with it, I don't have any idea. It seems to be okay since I'm at 80, over 80 on the Tanita hydration scale. <gasps> and I'm at 6% body fat, just having things be cleaner. I'm eating the exact same way I was before, working with Dr. Cassie Huckabee on other things so that I can fly because that's my whole goal here. Changing some stuff, draining certain, certain things. I'm eating the exact same way I am. I'm just saturating my life with a fuck ton more fruit but I'm still eating what I eat. But everything is processing how it should. 
more efficiently. Now I have to like stuff myself. My board shorts are falling off, which I know some of you aren't opposed to, but I'm at my lightest and leanest since I've been since high school. I thought we were aging. Oh yeah. Another concept that doesn't make any sense. And it's a lie. All right. Woo! That's the first, that's the intro. There's my intro. What am I going to talk about? Ooh. So I want to cover some stuff. Everybody who I've covered this before, but I don't think we're clear on it. When I state that walking, jogging, biking, hiking are not training. Uh, playing pickleball is not training. Playing basketball is not training. Martial arts is not training. Um, tumbling is like, sort of, but still not. All these things that everyone kind of does throughout the uh, unicycle or some other fucking cycle, some other reason to sit down as if we need that. They're not training. And now everybody's going to get triggered and upset because I just attacked one of the favorite things that you do in your day, probably jogging because everybody's obsessed with jogging. Hence, we're at our worst physical state of competency I've ever seen in 20 years. Um, but let's just keep doing what we've been doing and with no change and expect different results. Um, if you think of this, because I have people going, I, I used to do what you said, TJ, I would walk a fuck ton because I like using that term. It's offensive and it gets hammers home the point. Um, it's offensive to those that need to hear it. And so it gets to the point where, yes, we need to move a lot all throughout the day. So then people are like, I walk a fuck ton or I jog a fuck ton or I bike a fuck ton or I hike a fuck ton. Um, but my ankles, knees, hips, spine is hurt. They're hurting. And I tried to push through it. Like you said, and I kept walking a fuck ton, jogging a fuck ton, biking a fuck ton, hiking a fuck ton, whatever, but it still hurts. I'm at a loss. You said, though, that movement is essential, movement is life, but think of this. Think of this here. And I always resort to when you're confused to resort to your simplest form of life when you had all the answers <laughs> and you still have it. It's when you were an infant because nobody had imposed fears on you yet. You hadn't seen news. Your parents didn't tell you what religion you should be. They didn't tell you what fucking school to go to or what you should be passionate about. You weren't competing against other babies or other families or other things. There weren't medals and, and ribbons and all this bullshit there was no specialization there was no programs and television and programs and stories and programs and stories you were just as pure as it can be coming straight from source that's why i said i will consult with a woman a cat or an infant before i'll go to anybody else for all advice those three right there are dialed in infant being specific being maybe one of the most powerful but a woman can make an infant oh yes she needs man but god damn she can grow a baby human being that's amazing so now listen to this did a baby just pop out of vagina or scheduled c-section which is even worse pull their neck go and then just start leaping around walking around saying check out what i can do look what i can do look what i can do. look what my feet can do um no they spent their every waking hour trying to develop all the reflexes, all the stability, all the patterning, all the senses integrating into the areas of the brain so that they could eventually rise up and take over the world, no walk. But it took like a year, maybe some faster, because everyone thinks their kid's a genius when they walk earlier. And it's like, you don't want to develop sooner. That's just first and foremost. If you can let the child on their own time, the longer they can take to develop, the better. That's why these milestones are dick. They mean absolutely nothing. So stop comparing your kids to some milestone that they fucking made up. It's hurting them. No more milestones. Okay, cool. Now, the baby was doing thousands and thousands of inputs, hours and hours and hours all day, to be able to earn this ability. Who is their trainer? What diet were they on? <laughs> what rep schemes? When did the, what was their work to rest ratio? Did they periodize? Did they, <laughs> what the fuck are you talking about? We all came with the same trainer. We all came from the same nourishment plan. <laughs> we all came from the same purpose. We have to get back to that. But again, we didn't start jogging, biking, hiking skipping, playing pickleball, basketball, whatever, until we did thousands upon 
thousands and years upon years of movement, 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 and performance upon that movement. We started jumping off shit, and carrying heavy things, and twisting and rolling, and jumping off stuff and rolling. When we've been allowed to do this, now we don't see this anymore because everyone's trying to protect their fucking kid. And what they don't realize is they basically put a, a, a huge dimmer switch on their entire expression of, of life. And, and the fallout's going to be disgusting, especially with the mask and everything else. But we've got a new wave of person. Protect, 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 and we're, we're not doing well. And it's going to be seen in 10 to 15 years. It's going to be gross. Um, but we did all this stuff to then express the skill of walking. Because if you look at walking, it's just a bunch of different movements at each joint, done at different angles, at different speeds, with different force couplings and sequences and all this stuff to express what somebody would call, that's walking, that's biking, that's throwing a baseball. But those things aren't training. Pilates and yoga, like these aren't training things because we didn't just come out and start doing those. There were prerequisites before we got to that point. So they're expressions of skill. The training are the movements at each joint to elicit that. So when I say walking, jogging, biking, recumbent biking, unicycling, e-biking, hiking, swimming, <laughs> any kind of sport is not training. It is absolutely the truth. It is not training. There are prerequisites that you must refresh, you must own, you must master or attempt to master. I truly don't think we're ever done to be able to express that simple thing where it's like, I should be able to walk. You're damn right. I should be able to roll over in bed. I agree. Well, I've been told that I can't because of this, this, this age. No, it's just you don't want to. <laughs> you don't want to put in all the work to be able to then express that. And if it hurts doing those things, all your body's saying is you do not have the prerequisites locked down to be able to express this without damage to the system. So I'm going to lock you down until you stop fucking doing it. And then you're going to have to go back to the state of being that you already were. We've already been exposed to everything we need. That's why we always think we need something new. We've already been through it. We already have it. <laughs> Assuming you've been able to express and uh, uh, express the healing response that they call measles or express the healing response that they call chicken pox or express the healing response that they call scarlet fever or mono, and I'm putting this in quotes because there is no disease. They've never shown that those viruses cause that, or it's never been matched up. So there is no disease again. But when we express that healing response per the environment we've been in, per what our family's been exposing to or whoever we're near, and then we go ahead and become this resilient, we've acquired the upgrades, the downloads, we've acquired everything we need in this life, and the body's constantly doing that. So anytime you express symptoms, it's an upgrade. Anytime you express some sort of an injury, if you do it right, it's an upgrade. It should be an upgrade. But we don't now because we've been taking symptomatic drugs, supplements, oils, and herbs, doing all these treatments, all this passive bullshit that I already talked about, doing all these things, biting the whole pill that you age and that disease and, and sickness really exist, and just slowly, slowly here because you know everything leads to this point where it's like, oh, I'm going to die. Well, we're all going to die. I'd rather be up here and express and ch exchange over into the next level of existence peacefully. My God, we should all hope for the best, but I'm going to live this whole time. So again, the body already knows. So when you can't do those, those skill expressions and the body gives you pain in your feet, in your knees, in your back, in your hips, in your head, in your whatever, or a feeling or an emotion that just doesn't feel like you want to do that. It's telling you not to just leave that environment for right now, but go do a massive fuck ton of work to be able to go there because it likes being there, but it doesn't like dying and being, it knows the existence of it. If it stays in that environment, it will stop right there. And the body only knows to perpetuate the life of the body. So it's going to do everything possible to regenerate and heal. That's why there is no disease or illness. Like if it was, we, humanity would have been extinct a long ass time ago and it just doesn't make any sense. So what we've got is to prioritize more on the fundamentals. And the fundamentals, think about this. What's the worst, the worst injury anybody or the lowest point in anybody's life they've ever been at? I can remember mine. Everybody think about this. What was the position of your body? What was your feeling? What was... 
And if you go and you go and you hit bottom hard enough, you were fetal. You were laying on your side, probably in tears, almost blinded, just looking at like the end of your nose or whatever the piece of carpet is going through and just feeling and almost just like pulsing with the beat of your heart. Have we been fetal before? Hmm. Maybe it's for us to do it again. Maybe what were we doing at that time? Receiving nourishment from source, breathing. Simple movements maybe, maybe of the eyes, maybe of the mouth, maybe of the hands and feet. Maybe that's you. Again, we've been through it all already. The answers are already there. Nothing's new. So this is why I can state that walking, jogging, biking, recumbent biking, e-biking, skateboarding, swimming, surfing, hiking, sports, all this stuff, it's not training. And then the other big deal is that if you can't heal, in the environment that, inju- that you express injury in, that is not healing, uh, that is not training, excuse me. So it's like, well, do, you, do people ever get injured doing the stuff you do or, or what you do for yourself? Of course, because we're pushing the tissue, we're pushing the tissue to a state that we're trying to find the limit and then trying to break that limit. And since we've got all this magic inside for the point of right before death, and the brain will literally release all this crazy awesome shit, right before it thinks it's going to die and we can utilize that in a training state and safely instigate, like find that all of a sudden now, right before that point, massive changes go and maybe we tip it. It's like, damn. And we damage tissue. Okay. We wait two days because it's bleeding underneath. We wait two days and let it chill out. And then all of a sudden we come back and do what? The exact same fucking thing we did that injured it or that put us in the the environment that created the injury because we want the brain to think this is not a hostile environment. It is not something you have to have PTSD to stay away from. It is something that you're going to have to get used to. We're just going to do a better job of equipping you to be able to stay in that environment because you know, you like challenges. You like to adapt. I'm going to give it to you. You're all right. And then we keep going (laughs) and then we keep going, but that's the thing. But everyone else has to leave walking, jogging, biking, CrossFit, martial arts, whatever. Pure form of martial arts, like 80% of the martial arts is training, like real training, and then you do some of the skills shit. But that's not what the American model is, because America is just embarrassing on all levels. Um, But they have to leave that. It hurts when I walk. You're going to have to leave walking for a while. Hurts when I jog. Jogging is fucking stupid, but because you like it, that's fine. You're just going to have to do an ass ton more to even be able to you sit in that system anymore or that that expression of that skill because it's just rotting and wasting your body away on all levels biking my god all these other things if you get injured doing that or you express pain in that environment you have to leave it for a little while go back through the steps the prerequisites teach your body for a minimum of three months and then go back into and test the environment again but what do we do what we do because we've been sold a lie and we're impatient and we're soft and fragile is it hurts when I walk, hurts my feet when I walk. Okay. So we go to some specialists on the corner store because anybody can open a business because of just freedom and all this other shit. Okay. And they sell you a custom made orthotic or custom made shoes because they pitched you on this computer program that measured and showed you your gait saying that you walk funny and this and this and this. When again, walking is just, or jogging is just an expression of your ability to move in these prerequisites, right? So the solution to that form of walking would be to just master the, okay, but they're going to go ahead and give you a shoe or give you an orthotic or give you something. And then they're going to go ahead. And what did that do? The brain was warning you saying, you're not ready to go in this environment. We just gave you a product that's going to allow you to stay in that environment and shut down the warning coming from the ultimate system of all systems being the central nervous system, mind, body, spirit, everything else. Hmm, Okay. Then all of a sudden nature comes back with a fury and goes, yo, dipshit. I was trying to get your attention before. Clearly that wasn't enough, you fucking moron. So now I'm going to take it from your feet and I'm going to run it up to your knees because your feet weren't enough. Now we're going to run it to your knees. I'm going to make it more severe. And then all of a sudden that person's like, I have a knee problem. And then they go to some orthopedic douchebag or some physical therapist who's just an absolute clown show, which the whole model, the whole profession is a joke. Or they go even worse to a chiropractor who thinks they're a physical therapist, which is even worse. Or you go to a symptom reducing acupuncturist or a massage therapist or a spiritual healer or a chart reader or a reeky whatever the fuck. All these people are going to do all this stuff and dazzle you and bedazzle you and put rhinestones on your vagina and get you ready to 
all of a sudden feel nothing in your knee. My God, you're a miracle worker. I don't feel anything. Okay, they did something, whatever. Then you go out into that same environment instead of listening to the intelligence of the body, going back through those prerequisites, earning and nourishing and changing your beliefs and your values, maybe changing your life, who you hang out with, your sleep, your meditation, your outdoor, ner- uh, outdoor sun exposure and your movements and everything else, right? And then all of a sudden, body goes, nature goes, hey, dip shit. I've been trying to get your, your attention with your feet. Now your knees, fine, I'm going to your spine. And I'm going to blow that shit up. And you already know where this is going. Maybe you go to a spine surgeon. You go to some other big clown who's going to show you imaging and show you, look at this. Look at all this damage. See what you are? And you're like, oh, my God. Image. Image. Got it. And then he says some names of some things that you can't understand anyway, because that's the whole point. They need to change the language that you can't understand your body. Therefore, you're afraid of your body. It's foreign to you, and you need help to heal or function in this world. And then they show, this is what it looks like. Mind you, that image looked like that for like 10 years, but only because you feel it at this point. They take the image. (gasps) But if you showed this 10 years ago, it started way back then. These are just healing responses. All this shit is healing responses. Labs are bullshit. All medical imaging is bullshit. They're just healing responses but they're gonna come up and make up diseases and sicknesses like MS, like ALS, like Parkinson's, like all cancers, like type one, like all the stuff that they've made up. It's just the healing response. And now all of a sudden, you're gonna buy in because they showed you that. Maybe you get your back fused. What happens when you fuse a couple of joints? What's gonna to happen to the ones above and below unless you integrate it with a thousand of fucking movements that created the problem in the first place, your inability to do that, but you didn't wanna do that. Now it's going to go this, 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 and they'll be like, ah, we'll just go in and fuse them again, fuse them again, fuse them again. Now you have to try to heal from the trauma of the surgery, which is usually when these fake diseases come up like MS, ALS, and express in this autoimmune fashion, <laughs> fashion like, a, like your body would attack itself. But there was a massive insult to the body, massive healing response. Oh my God, you have what we call MS. Oh my God, I do. You're not just healing to the massive trauma you chose to put yourself in because of your life that you lived prior to. What sounds more feasible, that you're just unlucky? Or the body is so intelligent that it's going to try to get your attention to have this massive creative change in your entire lifestyle. Maybe, maybe I'd go on the era of our bodies are more intelligent than anybody that's on television or anybody that has a nice piece of paper on their wall or is selling some product that they learned on a weekend course where they taught you how to market it for 95% of the time and do actually actual protocol for 5% of the time because nobody needs their shit and they know it. So that's where we go with the back. And then nature comes in and goes, yo, dip shit. (laughs) And then it runs it to the shoulders, elbows, hands. And then you're just this, oh, I mean, we have to ask the questions of how many joints have you had replaced? How many surgeries have you had? How many? It's just, it's just go, 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 go. And we just live. Well, I am, I am 30 or I am 40 or I do have this disease that they said, or I do have this. Ah, everything you just said, is just your body screaming that it's healing and wants to heal. Again, again, again. That is what we do when we express that healing response in those skills that aren't training at all. They're the expression of what we get to do when we train. And that's why I train. That's part of the reason I do stuff. So I can express emotionally what I want. So I can go explore this world. I love walking and hiking. So I'm going to damn well do the stuff that allows me to do those things. Because if I lose those things, that's going to be a different world for me. And I can flip it and have the best part of this. You can put me in a prison. I won't fucking create paradise. That's fine. I don't need to right now. I'm going to go and continue to fly. I want to get to that point, which is why I employed Dr. Cassie Huckabee and on her intake forms, what do you want to do? Reason for this visit? I'm going to fucking fly. But I'm not joking. Um, and so there's the... Does this gross you out? Or is it making one go buy a watermelon? Either way, it's all good. Damn, man. Ice cold watermelon? Um... That's the thing with this whole, what's training? What is your form? What do you do? I used to be able to do this, but I can't. And then we go ahead and outsource what we're supposed to be doing all throughout the day like we did when we were babies with a one mile walk or an hour of walking in the morning and evening. You just went from like moving 16 hours a day to 
like an hour here and there and then doing all these things that antagonize any of that growth and we're supposed to survive and, and not be fragile and be able to fight an infection or handle a divorce or handle a lie in a fairy tale like what happened in 2020, which is a complete lie, by the way. I, the fact that people are still buying this, I don't, it, it blows my mind. Well, it's real, but this is out of hand. No, it never was real. Just want to say that. It never was at all. <laughs> Um, and I could say it on this platform without getting deleted because fuck you. But my last fuck left the building when Instagram deleted me twice. Um, so that's what we got. We've got what training actually is. Now, what does that mean to you? What? I don't know. Go figure it out. You can hire me. I'm just going to show you from the feet up and go to the hands. And we're going to find those sources. You're going to see them firsthand. And then we're going to go through progressions. Then I'm going to inflict some things that you've never heard of principally. You've never been exposed to these things. You'll remember them, but that's the thing. Nobody realizes that they can heal through movement. Not sure what to do, but that you can heal, that every tissue regenerates, wants to. Everything adapts. The body will do everything possible to repair and regenerate itself. Um, people are buying my book and making the programs their own. People are getting the book and then doing a Zoom session with me. We're doing massive prerequisites into an organized state that they can do anywhere, anytime. And then all of a sudden they phase it into the book, make the book their own. They're like cutting the book up, writing in it, doing all this stuff. It's yours. It's your routine. And I say it's a scroll. It's not a program because programs end. This just starts and then loops. And you never stop. And you continue to go and continue to go and continue to go. And I keep learning myself through movement, something else I discovered in here that my body taught me. I'm 20 something years in, and I just learned something about a foot move that I was doing before. Great, I'm gonna explore that, it's gonna, be part, it's going to become part of the medicine. And I'm gonna find it, I'm gonna see what it can express and what the limits are of that, see what my tissue does, and then I'm gonna go ahead and that's the experiment. Um, but yeah, that's where we sit with what is training. When I am expressing injury, what does that mean? What do I need to do? Where do I need to find that? What, what do I need to get into? And that's why I said human, if you're a human, you move. If you're an older human, you move more. If you're an injured human, you move most. But that's where that concept comes from. So I continue to walk even though I have pain? No. You listen to yourself as to, but if things are getting worse, your body is telling you through symptoms that you're not equipped to exist in the environment that you choose to put it in. And you either need to do one of two things, change the environment or prepare to be in that environment. I like the prepare because I, I don't want to change that. I like lighting my hair on fire and running down the street. Um, everybody else might change their environment because they've been told they can't stay there anymore. And that's cool. Just shut up because the complaints that are coming from you from not living your best life are hurting my ears and a lot of other people's. I'm all about helping, but you and meeting people and this whole thing, you got to meet them halfway. Yeah, I get that shit. But be prepared to work your fucking ass off. And when you become a patient, Dr. Cassie Huckabee's, it's the same thing. If she sits and stares you in the eye, stops you from talking about playing this violin where everybody's got to be crying over you, and says you have to change this, 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 and go, and this is the healing approach, you trying to negotiate one or the other, or then revisiting with her later and being like, oh, I couldn't keep this up. This is what I've gone through with her. So I know firsthand, this is what it is. Only well, I'm, if I see something that needs to happen, change it. Start it right now. Because I love this life so much. I love engaging with this life so fucking much. It's really pretty incredible what we get to be a part of, what we have access to, that I don't want to miss a beat. It bums me sometimes that I got to sleep, but then dreams are just so unreal. And that's where a lot of downloads occur and a lot of these fantasies and things. I, I had a Whopper last week. I'll share it if something comes out, but um, gnarly. Anyway, all right. Hope we're clear on my take on what I think training is and why walking, jogging, biking, e-biking, recumbent biking, any other kind of biking, unicycling, hiking, swimming, any other sport that you guys are all falling in love with, why they're not training. And at some point, as long as you desire to live this high life, at some point, you are going to have to train. You cannot keep this up because nature, again, is going to go, yo, dumbass. And she will get your attention and stop you right in your tracks because you weren't listening. I'm trying to save you that. And honestly, it's not on me. It's your call. 
But if you want help, we go, we go, we point and we go and we go hard and you never stop and you continue to figure this out. But you make it a part of what your life is. You make it a part of this. You're not doing it for something. You're just doing it to experience life. It's all a part of this whole thing with no end in sight. Okay? Hope that, hope that resonates. If it doesn't, who cares? Go ponder a little more. If you got triggered, try to think why you got triggered. And if everyone here is just pissing and shitting in their pants because of the disease and sickness comments I said, or you know somebody, you're experiencing something, I really don't care. I'm glad you're triggered. I want you to then go seek out alternatives in readings and talking to people. Talk to people who have healed it. Talk to people who are doing that work. My, my outlet for that is Dr. Cassie Huckabee because she repeatedly has people doing it. It's not a guess. It's not a hope. And there's no protocol. Everybody's different. And so that's the thing. If you want to know a little bit more about that to kind of frame it or see where we're coming from on it, um, go watch our house calls on her website or her YouTube channel or my podcast here. Go listen to all of them. She's the one doing the deep dive clinical work on the big league shit. And she's the only one I trust in medicine. You'll see why. I know a lot of names who are doing a lot of stuff right now, and I would not go to them if I had my fucking heart and guts in my hands. And I was, I'd, I'd, yeah, I'd go get a root beer and watch a movie and, and peace out before I'd go to any of these people. That's a fact. And I say that with all seriousness. I've seen behind the curtain on both sides, the green naturopath, the green washing, and then the allopath. I'll never go to the allopath. I don't, done. There's no need for Western medicine. This whole like, well, there's a blend and it's natural oncology or natural with autoimmune. No, fuck you. There is no blend. There's such a breaking of principles that it just confuses the system so much. It just has you way worse than you were if you actually stood face to face with your healing response in your story and went toe to toe and danced. And that's the truth. And it keeps getting worse and people keep trying to defend it. I got to stop it because the other side's getting very strong. This other side is getting very strong. Both sides need to absolutely crumble. All right. Is that clock stop? No, we're good. It's interesting. Last time I checked that clock up in the corner, anybody understand the references to the clocks? Boom. 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 If anybody understands those references, what is that from? I might have said it before to you avid listeners. All right. Hope you guys enjoyed this. Uh, eat a fuck ton of fruit. Peace out.